She has literally transformed a portion of our studio. Up next, interior designer Robin Byron. She is going to share her secrets to make over making. Is this is a day bed? A day bed. I, I can't even believe. Can have it. someone sleep over or use it as a couch. I love it. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back. We are back here with interior designer Robin Barron. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Kara. Nice to be back. I, as you were setting this up, as we were watching in the show, I was like, why is there a twin bed over there? And then it transformed. It, you would never, I don't even think I'd ever consider this just a, any kind of a bed, let alone a day bed. But I love, this is just a regular twin bed with some leather around it. Well, I want to talk day beds because this time of the year, there's a lot of transitions. A lot of us have kids going off to college. Yeah being empty nesters. I know I am for yeah. the first time. Right. And so we're faced with a room that we never had before. Yes, kids come back and they want to be able to have a bed and they may come back after college for a little while too to situate themselves. So what can you do with a bedroom? You do a day bed. It's against the wall. You create a lot more room in that space and you make it like a sofa. You pile up pillows like I did here. One of my go-tos for beds are Charles P. Rogers. They've been in business a long time. This is the suitcase leather day bed. And what I love about it is it gets the feel of a sofa, right. but it's really a bed. You know, sofa beds are great, but when right. you open them up, it's a pain. They're not very comfortable. Yeah. This is a real bed and it has a pop-up trundle, so it becomes a king. And so by oh. doing all these great pillows makes such a difference. So what I did here was I took anthology bedding, and I love the anthology pillows with the pom-poms because I'm a sucker for trim. I love trim on anything. So these are from anthology. Anyone can go buy those. Anthology. And then these are Kenneth Cole Reaction. Now, I did this bed. A lot of it's from Bed Bath & Beyond. Inexpensive, affordable. It doesn't have to cost, cost you a fortune. And Charles P. Rogers is very affordable. And they do beds, and now they do mattresses like the St. Regis mattress, but they also do little tables like these campaign nightstands. The reason that that works so well is it also gives you the illusion of it being a sofa because you've got the tables with books and whatever on it. And a puff that I did at Bed Bath & Beyond gives you... That's Bed Bath & Beyond. That yes. little puff. Look at this puff. This is great. No, this puff. This On puff. the floor. <laughs> this one. <laughs> it's an extra seat, a cushion. Put up your feet if you want to. And it gives the room more of an appeal. So this room now went from being a kid's room to being your hobby room, your study, your library, your office. And it's still bedroom when the kids come home. So maybe you have this project you want to do. The kids are going out to school and you think, well, I'm going to start writing more. Or I'm going to start a small business. You could turn your child's room into an office, but they're not going to hate you because they still have a place to come home. Exactly, exactly. And then for those of us that the teenagers are still at home, doing a day bed like this creates more of a lounge feeling. So they have a place to hang out that's not their bedroom per se. It, it's a much cooler feeling. Okay, so if they want to have friends in their room, they can have a day bed too. It probably will just have different kinds of pillows on it. Well, well maybe <laughs> this is a little girly or whatever, but it depends on who, who you know, who, who's the audience. <laughs> now what if, is it okay to mix it in with stuffed animals if they're demanding that you keep their cabbage patch kids? <laughs> yes, 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 because you know what? For little kids, this is fantastic. Yeah. If you put a bed in, in a traditional, you know, format in a bedroom, a lot of the bedroom becomes the bed, and there's no place right. to play. Yeah. So if you do a day bed, and you pile it on with their stuffed animals and fun pillows, and all of a sudden, they have a lot more space in that room that they can have their play dates in, and you don't have to, they don't have to be in your living room, let's say, or your den while you're doing right. something. So it, it, it's any great age. for any age for kids, or really for adults. It's, it's a fantastic option. And again, you know, what I love about this particular one is that it doesn't look just like a right. bed turned sideways. It's a day bed. The foot and the headboard are even. I love that Charles P. Rogers did this in the leather because it is a very transitional kind of a look and, and flexible. Great idea. And we will have a link to your website, Robin. You. Uh, you can find Thank more you. information. If you like some of the ideas, you want to get it repeated, find the brands. We'll have it on BetterCT.com. Scott? All right, Kara, great event coming up. For